In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to add more time to a quiz for a particular student who needs more time based on their accommodations. In this tutorial, I am not going to cover how to create a quiz, but just to add that time. So I'm assuming you already have your quiz created and we need to publish the quiz. Now, if you're not ready for students to see the quiz, you can change your available times and you can do this by clicking on the edit button and under our assign to area, we will see the available from and until. And so if I don't want it available until the next day or a few days from now, I need to change the date. However, I can still go ahead and publish it. So I'm going to go ahead and publish it. Students will not see it until the available time, which is set in the parameters for your quiz. Now, when I published it, you'll notice that I have these links over here on the right hand side, which are very important to adding more time. Now I'm going to unpublish the quiz and you'll see that I no longer have those necessary links. This is why it's important and required to publish your quiz. So I'm going to go back again and publish the quiz and I will choose moderate this quiz. Once I click moderate this quiz, I will see my student list and on the right hand side, I will see a pencil tool. I'm going to click the pencil tool for the particular student I want to provide more time for and you will see that I have two options. One, to provide an extra attempt. You would only want to do this if the student somehow lost their internet connection or something happened to their computer or you just wanted to give them another opportunity. We're not going to put anything in the extra attempts because we're only adding time for their quiz. So as you see in the next area, it is for extra time on every attempt. We're going to add 30 minutes to this attempt, and I'm now going to click Save. You will now see that this student receives 30 extra minutes on this attempt.